With Indian Wells only a couple of days away and some big names that are coming in with some injury clouds, we're going to talk about the players that have actually withdrawn because there are massive names that are not playing. And also, like I said, we have some players that are under a bit of an injury cloud as well. Let's go have a look at who is actually put out on the WTA first. So starting on the WTA, we have Bencic pulling out of this one, of course, having a baby. Mukova, she'll be out for a while now because of the wrist surgery that she's had. So again, missing another big tournament. Kvitova, just like Bencic, having a baby. So she won't be in action for a while. Going over the men's side of things, Lesser known names with Jera pulling out of Indian Wells due to injury. McDonald also pulling out of this tournament. And Karatsev, he's pulling out and he will be out for a while because he had a pretty nasty injury to start the season. So three players there that are not going to be playing on the men's side this year. Let's have a look at the players that are coming in with injuries. And there are actually a lot of players, but we're going to talk about the big four that are coming in with some injuries. Starting with Krajikova. She's coming in with a back problem that has hurt her for the last couple of weeks. She's also pulled out of a lot of tournaments over the last couple of weeks. So definitely got to keep an eye on her in her first match and also got to look at her at the doubles as well because she does play a lot of that. Obviously, Rafa Nadal didn't play the Australian Open, has a hip problem. Now, he is going to play an exhibition tournament tomorrow, so we're going to see what he looks like there in the flesh. But yeah, he's got a hip problem. We've got to keep an eye on him. On Shabur, re-injuring that knee a couple of weeks ago, so we've got to keep an eye on her. Pulled out of Dubai as well, so Ons has definitely got some injury troubles. Carlos Alcaraz, rolling his ankle in Rio, said that it's not that bad and he just needed a week off, but we'll see what happens when he hits a court against Rafa tomorrow. So some big names there and some really big contenders, of course, at these kind of tournaments under some injury clouds. So there it is. They are the players that are not playing. Massive names on the women's side and players that are, of course, injured coming into these tournaments or at least had injuries over the last couple of months. Alcaraz being the defending champion with an injury is really concerning. And there's a bunch of other players that I didn't even mention in that injury list, like players like Fernandez, players like Lehechka, you know, players that pulled out of last week's tournaments. Draper as well. I mean, some massive names that are maybe the lower ranked players of those bunch. But let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is going to not play Indian Wells? Because we always talk about who's going to play Indian Wells. There's still lots of players that are playing Indian Wells. But do you think that any of the injured players are going to pull out last minute? I would be kind of shocked to see Krajikova because I feel like she is being a little bit injured like the last couple weeks. And I don't know. She... I don't know. I just got a feeling about her. Do you think Rafa and Alcaraz are going to rock up to the tournament? Are they going to be okay to play Indian Wells in about four or five days time? But there it is. The latest withdrawal list and the injury players going into Indian Wells this year.